Hi students, in this session we are going to discuss the sum to n terms of an AP and we will be discussing the exercise questions. Let's see the sum of first n terms of an AP. We are considering the positive integers from 1 to 100. Are, are they in an AP? We are talking about the positive integers, right? 1 to 100, if you are considering the integers, they are in an AP because the common difference is 1. With every term, if you add 1, you get the next term. Now, we are going to discuss how to find the sum. Let's see. Sum of 1 to 100 means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. up to 100. Now, we are going to find it in a different way, okay? Let's see how it is. I am going to write it as sum is equal to 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus etc. up to 3 plus 2 plus 1. I am writing it in reverse order like 1 to 100 and 100 to 1. Now we are having two equations but both are same only. Right. Now I will add these two equations. What will happen now? S plus S LHS. It will be 2 times S. What is this 2 times S? You need to add the RHS of this equation. What we will get? 1 plus 100, 2 plus 99, 3 plus 98. So, if you add them, you get this kind of pairs. And what is the speciality of these pairs? Look at them. Yes, if you add the first two numbers, 1 plus 100, it is 101. 99 plus 2, then again 101. Even if you look at the last term, 1 plus 100, that is also 101. 1. That means if you add all these numbers, you are getting 2s is equal to 101 plus 101 plus 101 etc. up to 101. How many such 101s are there? How many are how many of them are being added here? Yes, there are 100 because we are finding the sum of 1 to 100. So, when you are adding them, we are actually getting pairs of, yes, there are 100 terms in this equation now. And each of the term is like 101. Each of the number is 101. We need to add it 100 times. You understood? Repeated addition is multiplication. So, what we can write? We can write this as 2 times s is equal to 100 times 101. And the answer would be 100 into 101 divided by 2. Where this 2 came from? Yes, we found sum of s plus s that is 2s is equal to 100 into 101 we need the sum so s is equal to we are getting 50 50 that is 5050 what is this s s is 1 plus 2 plus etc up to 100 sum of the first 100 integers from 1 to 100 right so 2 s is equal to 5050 we got the value. Okay. Now, here we found the answer like this. Now, we need to find how can we calculate the sum of arithmetic progressions. Whatever the arithmetic progression it is, we need to find some formula, right? So, we are going to use this similar technique to generalize, to find a formula for the arithmetic progression, sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression. Let's see. Let A, A plus D, A plus 2D be the arithmetic progression. We are considering a general arithmetic progression, a general AP. Instead of taking a particular terms and all, we are taking it as A, A plus D, A plus 2D. Why we can take it like that? We know that if the first term is A and the common difference D, we can find every next term by adding common difference to the preceding term. So, we can write general AP as A, A plus D, A plus 2D. The next term can be A plus 3D, etc. Nth term can be written as A plus N minus 1 into D. We already learned it, right? Yes. Now, look at this AP. And nth term of this AP is A plus N minus 1 into D. Suppose there are N terms for this AP. We need to find the sum of these terms. All these terms should be added. Okay, so we are writing it as S. Let S denote the sum of the first n terms of this AP. Then, how can we write it? As in the earlier case we wrote, we are adding each term from the first term to the nth term. Here the nth term is written as A plus n minus 1 into D. 